Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you how to root your HTC One M8. In order to root an HTC device, we need to unlock the bootloader and unlocking a bootloader results in loss of apps and data. So uh, the prerequisite here is that make sure you back up all your apps and data because at the end of this uh, tutorial, you would have lost all your apps and data. Remove your micro SD card, uh, back up everything on your phone and proceed. So the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description and over there clicking on link one will take you to this page. So from here download the latest drivers. So download it, install it, it'll be an exe file, just install it. And once you're done with that click on link two, that will take you to this page. So from here there will be a zip file, super su, the version might change if a new version is out. But just download it, save it onto your PC or laptop. Link 3 will take you to this, pa this page. Alright, Android SDK slim.zip. So download that, that zip file as well. Then click on link 4. That will take you to this page. So from here, you can download uh, the latest custom recovery. So just download the latest one and save it to the same folder. Alright guys, let's quickly move on to the M8. So now here, go into settings and go into power and at the end you'll have an option called fast boot make sure that's not checked so now quickly hold uh, the power button turn off your phone now once the phone's off hold down volume and power at the same time this will take you to your uh, bootloader so over here, the volume keys will act for navigation and the power key for selection. So keep it at uh, fast boot, hit the power key and now connect it to your PC with a micro USB cable. So let's leave the phone as it is and quickly jump back to the PC. So guys, clicking on link five from the download section in the description will take you to HTC dev. So over here, you need to register for a new account. It's, it's free. So just go ahead, register and log in. This is mandatory. There's no way around this. All right, so once you've uh, logged in, click on unlock bootloader, get started. And over here, from this drop down box, scroll to the end, all other supported models, begin unlock bootloader. Hit yes. And uh, click both checkboxes, check it proceed to unlock instructions. So guys over here, you can ignore the first four uh steps now go to the folder where we downloaded the files from the download section uh there's this android sdk slim.zip that you downloaded so right click on that and uh select extract to android sdk slim so now let's quickly go into this folder okay so over here hold shift right click hit open command window here so right now just type in fast boot devices and you should see a number and fast boot showing over here if it says waiting for device uh, if you don't get any reply it just comes back to the same prompt it means you're having issues with drivers so go ahead reboot your pc reinstall drivers if that doesn't work then try installing htc sync uh, from htc's website and it should work all right so anyway enough that we've got uh, the devices detected the you need to type in this command all right so that's fastboot OEM get underscore identifier underscore token enter. So this uh, right now right click select mark select everything and hit enter. All right. So now just scroll down to the end and my identifier token right click paste and hit submit. So guys, once you've uh, clicked on submit, you'd get token submitted successfully and an email would be sent to your email ID, the one that you use to register on htcdev.com. So let me quickly go to my email ID. So you'd receive a mail like this one with an unlock code.bin attachment. So download this attachment and you need to download it into the same folder, the Android SDK slim, the same folder. So I've got it over here. Uh, root Android SDK Slim. So here's where uh, under platform tools, 
that is exactly where you need to save this. You would have an option that states click here to continue bootloader unlocking process. So click on that, that will take you to step 8. We should basically explain what I'm telling you guys here. So now go back to the command prompt. And over here you can just type in fastboot flash unlock token and just type in cap caps u n and hit tab that will complete it for you hit enter so now on your htc1 ma this is what you'd see so again you can use the volume keys to navigate so now hit power so now your phone, the bootloader will be unlocked and your HTC One M8 will reboot back up. So guys, since we've just unlocked the bootloader, the M8 might take about 4-5 to five minutes to boot back up. It's normal, do not panic. Wait, give it about 5 minutes and it will boot back up. So guys, the M8 is back up. Let me quickly run through setup. So guys, as you can see, uh, we, have, we are done with setup. Now just quickly go into settings again. And again, back to power and turn off fast boot all right so now if you just let's get back to the computer you just need to transfer the updated super su file copy it and paste it onto internal storage okay once you've done that uh select the recovery file that we downloaded fill touch now copy it and paste it into the platform tools folder again all right so now moving back to the HTC one M8 let's quickly turn off the phone press and hold the power button hit power off so guys once the M8 is off make sure you disconnect the power uh, the micro USB cable and now hold down volume and power now this will take you back to the bootloader mode all right so now select fast boot again and as you can see it would now read unlocked the bootloader status so just plug this in so guys on the PC again uh, if you've closed the command prompt for any reason just again from the platform tools folder shift right click open command prompt and type in fastboot flash recovery and uh, select the recovery that's ph and hit tab that will fill out, fill out the remaining file name and hit enter so guys once that's done you can disconnect the phone from the PC and over here just hit the power button again with it set at H boot and use the volume key to navigate to recovery hit the power button again so there you go we are now in fill touch recovery so over here the volume keys and the power key will still work but it's a touch based recovery so just hit install zip choose zip from sd card and there we have update super su that we just transferred select it hit yes install and once that's done go back reboot system now so there you go guys we are up and uh quickly going in you can now see that super su is installed so I've just signed into my google account and uh, got on the play store downloaded and installed uh, root checker so hitting agree okay verify root and there you go your device your HTC one M8 now has proper root access so I guess that pretty much wraps up this tutorial guys hope you found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these stay subscribed I will also be coming out with tutorials on how to gain SOF for your HTC one M8 how to convert it into a full-fledged Google Play Edition uh, HTC one M8 as well as how to return back to stock from that and how to just unroot your phone and get back to stock with stock updates and so on so for more tutorials, make sure you stay subscribed. Also give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.